Hola, me llamo Simon Keeling. Well, actually, that's about the limit of my Spanish knowledge. But in this weather school video, we're going to explain all about the Spanish plume. There's been much talk in the press over the last few days about the Spanish plume. But the Spanish plume is an effect that can occur at any time of year. It's certainly more pronounced during the summer months, though. As the sun heats the Iberian Peninsula during the summer months, temperatures rise rapidly. And indeed, over the last few days, temperatures have been 40 degrees Celsius plus across Spain. The bubble of warm air it generates gets moved northwards by southerly winds. So this bubble of warm air has been tracking its way northwards over the last couple of days across France. That's been bringing some really warm temperatures into France as well, and temperatures there have been in the high 30s. Of course, this warm air has travelled into the UK as well, and we've been feeling the effect of these warm temperatures, with 32.3 degrees Celsius registered across southeastern parts of England. But the surface hot air alone cannot cause the thunderstorms that we've been seeing. If there weren't any moisture around in the atmosphere or the ability for these thunderstorms to form, we'd just have warm, or even hot, sunny summertime weather. We need something else, and that something else is out in the Atlantic. These are the cooler westerly winds that drive in from the Atlantic at high levels of the atmosphere. Now when you've got cool above and warm below, we get a phenomenon called instability. Instability occurs all the time and without it we wouldn't have weather in the world. Instability basically means there's a large temperature contrast between one level and another. The larger the temperature contrast is, the higher the instability is. And it's this instability that generates the large cumulonimbus clouds that we see. They're the clouds that cause the thunderstorms. So as this cooler air moves in at higher levels and interacts with the warmth at surface levels, we then get large cumulus and cumulonimbus clouds, which form the familiar thunderstorms of the Spanish plume. Here's how a typical summertime Spanish plume chart may look. At the surface we have low pressure out towards the west. We've got a southerly flow of winds at low levels, that's bringing those warm conditions that we've just seen up from the Iberian Peninsula. At high levels we have a westerly flow off the Atlantic, but also this feature, this U-shaped feature, off towards the west of the country, we call that a trough. Now, those cool westerly winds are feeding that trough, and that trough in turn is putting cooler air at higher levels across the UK, across France, across Spain and Portugal. And it's that interaction of hot air at the surface, cooler air aloft, that is causing the instability that is generating the thunderstorms. So, when you're looking for a Spanish plume, this is the setup that you need to look for. Low pressure fixed towards the west, a trough at high levels, and warmth from the southerly winds at low levels. So, why not go out and amaze your friends with your newfound knowledge of the Spanish plume? Now, if you want the very latest forecast, go and have a look at weatherweb.net. And if you want to know more about the Spanish plume and other weather phenomenon, then come along to Weather School. Go to weatherschool.co.uk for the information on our very latest courses. But for now, thanks for watching, and whatever you're doing, keep the sun shining. Oh, and stay cool. Bye for now.